We are in the east at Bactra, and for some reason the Arvani are here, but we are here with another epic Rome 2 siege for you today in Siege Week. This is a fairly long one, as you've probably seen from the uh, time, so you guys better have some snacks and some drinks, and you better be ready for an epic battle. This is, well, I was told that this one is very, very, very close, um, and I hope it keeps up too. Um, it's promised, and then as like a shot just comes in and hits a load of Arvani. Um, but we do have a 3v3 battle for you today. I am Pope John Paul, and I hope you guys have been enjoying Siege Week. Um, so far, we're, we're, getting, we're getting through it. We're near the end now. Um, we've got a few more sieges for you. I hope you enjoy them all, um, and I've watched a fair few of them so far. But yes, we have Kush, the Arvani, and Sparta today some interesting selection sparta probably better as a defending force um kush certainly is a very very strong attacking force and the arvani also a fairly good uh, attacking force and they have uh, to face them today carthage seleucids and the uh, ariadi who are sending out some illyrian greek raiders interesting i guess these guys can start outside the walls i bet i guess they have the ability i can't remember i rarely play this faction um, but yeah, so it looks like they're going to go straight in for a charge here on some Royal Spartans. I don't think it's really going to do much of a difference. It may weaken these guys a bit. It's certainly going to slow down the progression of... Oh, a second one's appeared. This might make a difference now. Um, but it'll certainly slow the progression of this a uh, uh, tortoise. But look at that. They threw a Javi lot and they uh, just didn't, didn't even care. They didn't even lose a life. Here we go. So yes, they're all, already into the combat. Um, so there you go, we have combat straight away. This is going to be a action-packed one by the looks of it. Um, so I hope you guys have been enjoying like, Siege Week, like I said. Um, if you have and you're new around here and you want to see more sieges, please do leave a like, subscribe and a comment um, if you've been enjoying them. And also don't forget to join the Discord down below if you want to submit your own uh, replays which you think are worthy to be shown on the channel. Or if you want to take part in battles that may then be featured on the channel. Come show off your skills. See if you can uh, beat myself and some of the other subs. But here we go. It does look like these Illyrian... Uh, oh, a tree in the way. These Illyrian Marines are going to beat these Royal Spartans. Looks like all those Chevrons are going to make the difference. They've actually killed nearly uh, 30 of them. And they've not lost many men themselves. Yeah, they've lost about 10 men. But as that's been happening, the... Um, Arverni have landed on, we're about to land on the walls. What have they got to face them? They have some axe warriors, some ax, um, which have already lost quite a lot of their own men as well. They've lost about nearly 30. They're up against Oathsworn, I think, first. We're going in first. Yeah, wow. Already sending in the Oathsworn. Wow. Interesting decision by um, Sparta to send over Royal Spans with um, the Tortoise. And he's really sending in a lot of his infantry here. He's really wanting to save these um, Royal Spans. I mean,. Oh yeah, these are Royal Spartans, they're not even Spartan Hotplates. So this is a really key unit he wants to save. Don't know why he's sending it in first. Um, I don't know if he's got brought Spartan Hotplates. Yeah, he has. I would have just sent them in first. Like, if you're going to send in this Tortoise, send in, like, the cheaper units first. Save your Royal Spartans to the end. Because they're getting minced by Illyrian Raiders, so a really good kill by them. I mean, he's not got all of them, but he's got them down a fair amount. He's killed 40 of them, and they're pretty beaten up since. But he is going to lose two units of um, pretty well chevroned up uh, Lyrian Raiders from this. Which is a, not a waste, um, but it would be nice if we could take out that unit. And Arvani over here now landing his naked warriors. More cho uh, chosen swords. Um, chosen swords again. What's Kush doing? Kush was making a, a huge gigantic wall of siege towers here. And he's actually lost a lot of men from it. Was this Illyria as well? I think it must have been. I didn't even see this, so it looks like Illyria also came out over here, and the Seleucids are here, oh my gosh. There's a lot of fighting going on, it's Median Cav um, going up against, uh, well, and Carthaginian Cav going up against Spartan, Royal Spartans again, Spartans is having a really rough start. There's not any cavalry over here, I don't know why Kush isn't sending in his cavalry, could really do with helping. Here we go, his general's going in now, Kushite Royal Cavalry, sending the armored Desert Cav, he's going to send them round, I think, to just try and close these guys off. I'm not really sure what he's doing in the towers. They're just going to batter their way through. He's like, I don't even care about these horsemen here. We're just going to go through them. Yeah, and the horse is like, we don't care about your tower. We're going to go through that. Look at these men. You're just like, oh god, don't leave the tower. or Otherwise, we're going to die. They're just swarming around. Here we go. Kush is now engaging. 
um, this cavalry, and he's smartly going to send the other one to go and take out the noble cavalry. Seleucid's really here, just making it easy for Kush. He's really just piling in his cavalry, ready to start flanking around, just go and attack some infantry as some archers. Like these are infantry here that are now leaving the walls. Um, but yeah, so Pike's now joining. This will probably be mopped up quite easily. Kushite Pikes, here we go. Mop them up. Well, it'd be nice if they mop them up if they moved. But anyway, we'll go and we'll see how Sparta's doing. Is he finished dealing with his problems over here? Just about, yes. And now Arvani is taking over um, the assault on the walls. And he's already through the gate. Oh no, he's not through the gate. He's come off the walls. It's not even a gate here, Pope. Why were you thinking he was through a gate? But he's already facing uh, Illyrian Noble's uh, hot plights. And he's losing. I'm surprised. I mean, this unit actually doesn't look like it's really being told to fight. It looks like they just got down here and this was it. They're actually being slowed down by stones. Um, so that's not helping them either. And Illyria's going to send up more troops. He's that worried about this um, problem. It's He's winning this fight here. He doesn't need to send more up. He's probably winning this fight over here. He's actually winning it. Well, numbers, he's winning it. But, I mean, yeah, they need to start firing a lot of arrows here. Try and focus these guys down. Axe Warrior's actually breaking. This Okay, actually, two of the units are lo apparently losing. And some, I mean, good volleys here, possibly, from the... Actually, most of these um, Celtic Warriors are hitting just, like, here. They're not actually missing. And there's not many, um, like, Arvani Warriors to aim at, like, on the edge. It's mostly, like, Illyrian troops here. Well, not Illyrian, but... Ariade. Yeah, he's actually... There's a few here, but that's about it. He is actually hitting a few, but look at the amount of, like, wasted Javis. As we watch the battle, that's... Right. I hate the wall camera. It's so... Oh! I'm hearing knocks. That means... Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. That was a, nearly a good play there by Sparta. Oh, it's going to cost um, the Arvani a few men. But yeah, I mean, nearly a good play here by the attackers. That locking down a quite a few units here and then knocking a hole in the wall. And a lot of um, O-Swarm were lost there. That is a shame. And they've got a lot of troops here ready. So I can see why they sent up so many uh, Celtic warriors now. They were prepared ready for this. So Royal Spartans going to be the first through by the looks of it. Does look like that's going to be the case. Kush, on the other hand, what is he doing, Kush? he's Looks like he's dealing with the um, cavalry still. Still being slowed down with his cavalry. How's, how are these Kushite Pikes doing for kills? They're only on 24. Oh, that's a shame. They really should be like mopping up this cavalry, should these pikes. But I mean, it looks like the general is doing just that job. They are like a very heavy cav unit. Take it on medium cav. They're going to win this fight. Here we go. Here come the pikes. Poke them in the back. Yep. Get a couple of kills here and there. Poke these boys. Poke, poke, poke. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good for the cavalry. Yeah, and then they're just gonna. Oh, that's not good. They're just gonna charge into the back of, into the front of the pikes. Noble cavalry loss as well. So a lot of units here by the Seleucids and um, well, all the attack, uh, all the defenders, I should say, really have already been used up. Like they lost two units of infantry. Well, maybe more actually. They might have lost more over here. Looking at the uh, pile of bodies, um, and they've uh, like lost a lot of cavalry. And the balance power is now well, it's even more in favor of the attacks than it was before. So that's a never a good sign. So it wasn't really worth it. I don't, they did a lot of damage to Sparta, I'd say. But Kush kind of got out of this pretty well. Now he's got Thorax Swordsman here. Just get annihilated by Shota Warriors. He really needs to send up some archers to support this uh, this area. Because these are nicely bunched up with these uh, Shota Warriors. You can get these guys on the wall. He can, he's not actually got any towers yet on the wall. So, well, he's got some here. But not on, he can't get any over here. So they'd be pretty safe for now. Especially while he's being very cautious because of the rest of uh, the cavalry. He's not sure. I don't think he's very sure uh, if that's the last of the sallies out. But over here, it does look like the Shota Warriors are being beaten. Thorax Swords are overwhelming them. So it looks like a one-on-one -on -one Thorax Swords will win. But it looks like that 2v1 over there, not faring too well. Going to need to send up more troops over here. What's he got in, re what's he got in reserve here then? Oh, he's got some Thoros Spears ready in reserve. I guess he's just slowing them down. I don't think he's good. Intends to sally out. Or not sally out, um, like support these areas. I think he's just going to fall back onto other lines of defense. This looks like his next line of defense here. Maybe here as well for when they eventually break through here. Which won't be for a while. 
Um, looks like Spire is going to knock a hole in the wall. Maybe that's what he's getting his unit ready for. Just to hold that breach. On the other hand, Carthage, what's he doing? Looking like he's containing uh, the Arvani fairly well. He's got them contained in these small areas. Sacred Band in first. I mean, they're pretty beaten up. Need to get some archers on the wall here. Um, and then that would really help. Same here. Sacred Band need to get more archers on the wall. Just punish them for... They're going to stand here. Punish them. Their archers are a long way back. They've got... I presume these are Cretan archers. Yep, yeah, they're just disappearing now. They're supporting this choke point here. But he'll be running out of ammo soon, surely. I'm sure of it. Looks like there's already been a fight down here, actually. Naked warriors have already gone in. Yeah, they got brutal. I think that they might have actually just been shot to death. That's a shame. So Arvani looks like he's, he's also having a rough game. Um, but they really need just to like keep harassing um, the Arvani and Carthage. And I'm pretty sure they'll get through. Like I think Kush is probably going to beat the Seleucids, and especially with a bit of Spa and help. I'm not really sure why Spa sent this unit over here. Maybe just to knock a breach in the wall because well, I'm pretty sure Kush brought artillery. He did. Don't really know why he's going to need a tortoise. He could have made breaches of his own. I guess he can use the artillery for late game. Here we go. So it's going to be Thoros Spears. Yep. First into the breach. Here. Another unit. A separate unit. He's got another one here. Oh god. He's got a lot of Thoros Spears ready. Yeah. This shows the warrior unit's not going to last very long. It's now getting javied. Here they go. They're about to break. It's a shame. I mean, it's probably not even worth firing your javies here. Like, they're going to win this fight anyway. You're probably going to actually cause more friendly fire. There you go. They're all dead. Yeah, now you can just call friendly fire. Here, we, what we got up here now? More show to warriors. This is a weakened unit, though. I think this might be one of them from down here. Okay, they're actually losing here now. So Kush is actually finding it a bit tougher to uh, send stuff in. But yeah, that's got his elite stuff yet to come in. He's got armor show warriors, which are very nasty he's still got pikes he's got um, disciples of Apademak, which are pretty good even though they're very light they're uh, very strong and they've they're basically like berserkers and they've got some good buffs for our infantry i'm pretty sure and he's still got all his archers his cavs a bit beaten up but that's not surprising since he's just had to fight about five units of cavalry at its own what have we got back here more royal spartans where's Sparta's general oh he's all the way over here interesting so it looks like Spar is going to open up a breach here as well. He's got like tortoises everywhere. Oh, he's pulling it back. Where is he going? He's sending the order to go all the way over here. Not really sure about that. Is he just scared of this artillery or something? Surely not. But they've got deployables up everywhere. They've got spikes down. I don't know why they've got stakes there. It's a bit silly. Except, oh, they've knocked down this fort wall as well. And he's got artillery all the way here. Oh, gosh. Really is like... Does he try and show he doesn't miss or something like that? I just knock a big breach in here then and make another one. Spa really needs to start putting some troops through because they're being ever so slow. But here we go. We've got Royal Spartans in here supporting uh, the Arvani. I mean, which are basically finished. This is the Osworn unit. These Royal Spartans, they'll probably win this fight. They actually are now winning. Always, if in doubt, send in the Spartans. They'll make a breach. Interesting to see how well they do in uh, an assault. Personally, I use them myself when defending because that's what they've got. They haven't got any swords and they've got very poor cav. So you don't use them in field battles. And they've got pretty awful missiles as well. I think they've got. I think they have Cretan and Cretan archers available to them. But I think most Hellenic factions do, so. You're on pretty. Even ground if you bring in Cretan arches, everyone else is bringing them as well. But yeah, they're sending more and more over here. They're not clearly not happy with this uh, like breach. They clearly think the spawns are going to get through, and they probably are at this rate. It does look like that. Sending in some Celtic warriors now to fight their Celtic brothers. What have you got up here? Oh, more royal spawns. It's just the rest of the units yet to come down. Could do with support in this area. They're clearly making progress. And they're certainly, like, I mean, certainly get some archers here. Look at the amount of, like, infantry now blobbed up here. I, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they've got mostly Cretan archers. So they could send up some of them. They've probably got Rhodian slingers as well. I oh, know Gorgos skirmishers. So the, yeah, DLC unit. Some women are on the battlefield. Excellent. Good to see this battle represented by both genders. 
I'm pretty sure Kush has some female units as well. Pretty sure some, again, some bows possibly. The bow unit. These sacred banded mopping up these uh, Gauls here. Well, I keep calling one of them Gauls, but Arvani is what they are. But I mean, they really need some support here. I don't know where their bows have gone. They're sending them around this side as well. It's because he's assaulting on such a long front, and Spar's not really ha helping him out. Spar needs to start sending some stuff in. There is some movement going on. Looks like he's going to send forward another s Royal Spartan unit. I don't know why he's just not sending in the basic Spartans. Are these all Spartan pikes? No, some spider hot plates there as well. Send in the basic hot plates. What's he doing with all his siege towers? What is this player doing? So bizarre. Never seen that. Clearly, there's some master plan in place. But I mean, yeah, these are royal spartans are now losing to size blue. They're actually getting slowly overwhelmed. And they're now getting shot nice in the side. In fairness, they're using a lot of their ammo up of the defenders in um, just taking out a couple of units. So that's certainly something that the attackers need to take into mind. Mercy Peltas. We don't often see Peltas. I mean, usually everyone brings archers because, well, Peltas just get outranged and focus down. But I mean, at this moment, they're getting like, able to shoot at free, free will or throw at free will. Here we go. Kush is now finally going to break, it looks like here. He's sending up more stuff. He's got armor show to warriors coming up. He's got royal Kushite at archers. It looks like Kush, to be honest, has been the most aggressive out of any of them. I mean, or having the most success, possibly. Only because he's taken out so many cavalry. But this would, yeah, this is not a good idea. Don't go through here. Just get archers on the wall. I don't know see where the Seleucid's archers are. Don't know if he's actually brought any. I mean... By Carthage sending archers over here, I'd say not. Annoying that I can't see all their armies, but we'll see them at the end, I guess, and what they did bring. But yeah, they've got some pretty beaten up Thoros spears, I mean Thoros swords. They've got Thoros spears here, which won't hold to, like, the shows of warriors. So they could just actually charge this unit through probably quite happily, and it would get through quite nicely. And they're also winning here now. I don't know if this is the same. Yeah, I think this unit, the show warrior unit, has been fighting for so long, and now it's got armor show to warriors helping it. And they're probably going to break anytime soon. Yeah, here we go. They're breaking. So this area is now under threat. Now would be the time to attack. You could take out these two units quite easily. You could defend your flank. But, I mean, Seleucus might be in trouble. I'm not sure where, what he's got in reserve. Um, it does actually look like Carthage is keeping archers in reserve. This is good. Keeping at least one unit. I, okay, yeah. Sacred Band being sent over. Not a good sign. Does it like Seleucus are either low on stuff. I mean, the more Thoros Spears come out, he's brought a lot of Thoros Spears, is the Seleucid, so I wouldn't have done that. But yeah, these guys are yeah, winning decisively. They're going to probably win this fight quite easily. 94 of them left. Yep, they're going to knock these guys down quite quickly. Look at this. Look at this. With their curved blades. They're just going to mince through these guys. It's going to need these Sacred Band here to slow them down. Kush are very, very strong on the assault. One of the best factions, along with Rome. One of the best factions to bring. I'd still say Rome's better because if you don't have high funds for um, for Kush, then they don't. They're pretty nullified then, because you can't bring many of these uh, armor show to warriors. But if you have high funds, you can spam these up show to warriors, and you'll do fairly well. There's obviously still a chance you can lose, but you'll certainly have a good chance of winning. But yeah, these uh, Thoros Spears are not having much luck. And it doesn't look like they're going to get support of the Sacred Band either. And uh, now he could send this small unit of Shoto Warriors around the side. And he could flank all these guys. I think he is trying to do that, but... They got caught. And here we go. What's he bringing down? No more armor Shoto Warriors. They're fighting. And they're in more even combat. They are capturing this tower over here with more armor Shoto Warriors. And this area over here looks like... Well, there's a line of sight and there's clearly nothing here. Looks like Carthage is already falling back. This is what the Sacred Band's for. So, this seems a bit early by the defenders. I won't lie. Um, there's still a long, long time in this battle left. Still about 50 odd minutes. So, I mean, hopefully, uh, hopefully there's some still action. I don't think 
they should really be pulling back yet. I would have thought Seleucids would have had a lot of like they still got Thorax Pikes over here. And they're bringing, well, they're bringing back more of their pikemen. Now, are they just leaving their pikes for the final stand? I mean, if they are, then they're bringing back Sacred Band as well. But, I mean, they've still got a lot of ammo of the defenders. I don't even think Kush has used any of his ammo. And I don't think um, Arvani really has either. And I know certainly Sparta hasn't. He's not sent any of his army forward, really. He sent more of his army backwards than he has forwards. And here we go. It looks like the Arvani is now making a bit of a, a bit of headway just because of the like units being pulled back. So there's a small unit of uh, Sacred Band now having to hold back um, spin over. So it looks like Carthage also just spammed out a load of elite units. I mean, most of these factions have. It clearly it was a high-funded a high uh, funded battle. Lots of votes sworn, lots of Spear Nobles, lots of Sacred Band. These uh, Oathsworn here, they'll probably mop these guys up. Yeah, just getting between these getting between uh, these two fights here can surround this Sacred Band. I'll finish them off nicely. There we go. The Sacred Band will hold for a little while. They're not, they're not cowards. But they are fools to carry on fighting. You beg for mercy at this point. Like, we're done for. It's a thin, thin line only thinning and it looks like they've just broken now and here we go it looks like it's just gonna be this sacred band unit holding here i don't know like are they still holding here at this they are also still holding here ever so slightly how is this combat still even there's 35 of them and they're actually beating this 19 you know here i just sent those chosen swords back in they actually had the numbers to beat these sacred band but they just want to winning now <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> but i mean yeah Sparta's over here as well what is Sparta doing he's just Dotting his army everywhere. Apart from the only area that he probably needs to defend. And the uh, Ariadne are also falling back already. The attackers need to catch a lot of these men out. Need to catch so many of these men. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh dear, Kush is going to get a lot of kills here. Lots of Peltasts. Oh, that's a good volley. Here we go. So he's going to catch all of these Peltasts. Well, certainly most of them. And this one. You need to get another unit over here because there's still a big gap that they can get through. And then otherwise, there's like more mercenary Celtic swords, axe warriors. Here we go. And the Arvani seeing the chance as well to get this trap. They are in real trouble here with the Arya die. That's definitely butchering their name, but I don't... I can't pronounce it to save my life, probably. Arya die. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so look at this. Just like, they can't get back. They're not going into column formation, which they really should, and they could get through this without a problem. He's causing more problems for himself than he uh, has to. And here we go. He's now having to engage the Arvani just to try and hold back um, this, like, attack so he can try and hope they can break through Kush here. But Kush has lost one man and is winning decisively. Um, so Carthage and the Seleucids have really left uh, their ally high and dry here. He's kind of been just left to hold on his own. Well, not even hold, just, like, retreat on his own. They didn't even, like, defend him. So uh, this is unfortunate. Bad, bad uh, teamwork here by the defenders, and the attackers have really uh, taken advantage. And they're going to get about five or s capture about five or six units outside the walls. And that's going to be a huge victory for them. It's five or six units that can't now defend the town center, which they're already falling back to, which is a interesting decision. I don't think they were doing that badly. Like Sparta had barely committed. They could arguably Carthage and. Um, Ariadne could have probably sent troops over to help the Seleucids. I don't know how many men the Seleucids have left, but... He certainly had enough to hold Kush for a little while. And here we go. It does look like all these units are going to get trapped here. Illyrian Nobles now trapped here. A very strong unit. Held up by one Kush unit. He desperately doesn't need to get more troops over there. He's starting to lose a couple. Combat is even still. Over here, Celts versus Celts. A sad sight when you see brother fight father. Cutting them down. They've had it. Oh! Turning him over shield. That's not going to kill him. That, just doing that doesn't kill him. you got to stab him. Make sure he's dead. Oh! This guy was nearly on for two kills. I'm just keeping an eye on this guy. See if he gets any more kills. No. He's getting close. No, he's not having it. He's not having it. They're pushing them back gradually. 
Now more troops are coming up, more chosen swords, and there they go, they're breaking now. You need to sur don't need to go and engage this one, you need to surround these Illyrian nobles, or Illy yeah, Illyrian noble help plights. Because they you don't want to have to fight these guys for longer than necessary, and here we go. Spartus now joining the fight, he's joining a bit late. Um, so his army's basically untouched. I don't know what he's doing with all his siege equipment. Oh, he's still going around here. Okay. Oh, so Sparta's going to knock a whole wall down here. And he's going to attack from this side. He's going to help support Kush by the looks of it. Because it looks like it's now going to be... I presume Kush will come around and attack this side with what is of Sparta. And the Arvani and the other part of Sparta will attack here. There's a lot of defences though. Barricades, uh, stones, spikes. I mean, most of this will just not stop infantry at all. Like, the stakes just don't stop. Um, they're only anti-cavalry and they're broken most, quite a lot of them here but this is not good I, if I was Carthage in the Seleucids I'd be ashamed that you just left your ally to die here poor man and because of it the balance of power is looking ever worse But they're going to have to lose a lot of men, I guess, to get through these choke points. Those last two choke points. And now uh, Carthage has the best part of his army left. And there's cer certainly some of the Ariadai army left. Along with, Car um, with Seleucids. And here we go. They're now surrounded. The Arverni coming in. They're going to just chop these guys down. Killing more of their brothers. If you hadn't done enough murdering of your own kind, here's some more. Oh, poor guy. He's like, why, brother? Why? And there's another one. Tipped. I don't know how that'll kill you. It certainly might hurt you if you're falling on these cobblestone, but it doesn't kill you. It wouldn't kill you. The animation just should be followed with like a swift stab to the back. Here we go. Looks like Illyrian Noble's breaking. That's interesting. And there you go. Actually, that's a huge bro. Everything just broke. So Mercenary Axe Warriors is the last thing to hold. They had Silver Chevrons. They were clearly well upgraded. A bit of a waste there. Bit of a waste there. Here we go, yeah. Mercer creating archers just ready and waiting for them. So hopefully, and I think he does, Kush has his artillery. No, I actually can't see. What did he do with his artillery then? I swear Kush had artillery. Did it get taken out? Who knows? I'm not being blind, am I? I swear Kush had artillery. Did he leave it outside? Did all the crew get killed? I think all the crew got killed. That's a shame. That's a real shame, because they would have been handy. Take out all those towers. There we go. Finally, the final battle over here is done, and Seleucids have finally been driven off. Did they... Ah! They came from outside... What happened here? Did the Thoros spears come from outside the walls? I don't know. I do not know. I think they did. I might have missed something. Um, whoever was playing in this battle, if they can like let me know what happens to this Kush artillery, I would like to know. Because that could have been huge. Because they could have taken out these arch towers, and maybe some of the walls here. I mean, I know you. I don't know if the walls are destructible, and I know you can't really use them. But you could certainly like force these arches off the walls. But here we go. Sparta's made a breach over here. Now it's time for him to come through. I mean, there's no point in just sticking around here. Just get through, man. Get through. Oh, but... Here we go. So Sparta does still have artillery. He's trying to negotiate his uh, Greek heavy onages through. Not quite sure he's going to do manage that. The siege tower in the way. It was an interesting decision to knock a wall down and then put a siege tower in the way. But, you know... I'm not going to question Sparta. He's been he's been pro by far the strangest of the players players today. And uh, so far he, he's doing okay. He's still got an army in place. So I'm gonna just fast forward I think because I think this is going to be where the battle slows down. I might actually make a cut. Actually, yeah, I'll make a cut here um, because I think it's going to be a while to see where the spar gets his artillery through and what he does over here. He's slowly moving through the sea. But I imagine they're going to set up for this final assault on the uh, town center. So I'll see you guys in a moment. So we are back. And the final engagement for the 
city is about to begin and it looks like the Arvani are going to be the first in. Which is uh, not surprising to be honest, they're probably the most beat up army. Send them in first, let them use their ammo up on these guys. Uh, and a big, big, uh, well, find is basically, or development I should say, not a find. A big development. Seleucids do have archers. They also have a flipping load of their army left. There's so many Seleucids left in here. There's a lot of silver sh shields, Thor spears, they have pikes. Um, a big development uh, is that they've captured this gate over here, have the uh, forces of good. I don't know why, or oh, the forces of good, the attackers have uh, captured this gate. I don't know why they're not sending their heavy onages through here. Surely they would send them through this area. But they look like they're going to send them all the way around this breach point here. Um, I would probably just send them through this breach point here. I know that there's stakes here, but I don't think stakes would really be damaging uh, heavy onages. But yeah, it does look like these uh, Gaelic heavy archers, or these archers, uh, are going to just capture everything here. Turn it against the defenders. Not a bad decision. Especially for the use of all the ammo. But yeah, I mean, Spartan player, just send you guys through the gate. They were trying to get through this uh, breach for ages and they couldn't do it. There's a bit of uh, shooting over here that happened for a little while. Um, like, Sparta lost a few men. His Gorgos, uh, skirmishes, wherever they are. Here they are. Get Got pretty beaten up. And they still are getting beaten up. I don't know if they're able to throw it. They're able to throw it all the way up there. Are they Slinger? I think they are. I've, I've rarely seen them. I thought they were a Java unit. Yeah, they are a slinger unit. Okay, so they are able to heal up here. And it looks like they are going to... Well, they're not doing much damage to the Korean archers. I'd probably just use up all my ammo on the pikemen. That's the problem. I mean, I think the defenders use up most of their ammo anyway. It does look like the Arvani and the, are just going to... Well, throw themselves at these sacred band. These are fresh sacred band as well. There you go. All the arrows going in. That's definitely going towards the pikemen. So it was a bit more than a shortcut, I will, I won't lie. Um, well, you can see by the time that's left, uh, there was a lot of a build-up. They were really trying to work out. Um, Sparta here, he's got a gap here, he can definitely get through. Okay, I, well, Carthage is now closing that off, but and he's certainly got a gap that he could try and get through here. It's going to be slow and painful with all these deployables here, which why I hate when people bring deployables, especially if you're a defender. You've already got enough on your side. Don't know if you really need stakes. Along with it, also plus it's not really, uh, the stones. Yes, they do actually do a lot of like they slow people down. But yeah, here you go, Spa. Uh, this is a bit dubious here, but this looks a bit like like pulling through. But over here, he has got a, a very nice flank that he can get. Yeah, he's sort of pulling through there, which is a bit of a no-no. But um, actually, yeah, that is yeah, very much pulled through that, and now he's going to surround them. So that's. Yeah, that's. I would have complained if he did that, and I can see why uh, the Korean archers are now profusely firing down. That any uh, any Royal Spartans to do that, Spartan player probably shouldn't have been told should have been told off for that. I don't know if he did, but um, he's not got he's not had much battle experience. Let's put it like that. So far, this battle, he's uh, so he could probably accept his mistake of doing that. He's now battering down the barricades over here, and I wouldn't bother going into this. This is just a waste of Spartan lives. Such a waste. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Just pull back. Just get any archers. I think Kush has sent archers over here. Kush had that. Yeah, Kush has uh, two units of archers. Send them up. They can take out these Thoric Pikes. Otherwise, you're going to lose so much, including your general. I don't know what Spar was doing. I don't know if he's like a new player or something like this, but this is just not good. This is A, blobbing up, and he's just going headlong into Pikes. He is battering his way through. Again, I don't know if this is because of pulling through. I'm not sure. I wouldn't have thought he could just batter his way through a pike line like this. So this, these pikes are basically now redundant. Um, they are actually still winning, but that's not going to matter for long. Yeah, he's definitely pulled through that. Uh, that's a shame. It was a really good battle up till now, and then there's pulling through like this. You don't, you can't just walk through pikes like that. That is uh, unfortunate. So gonna gonna not look at that. It's just gonna upset me. But yes, yeah, so Sparta is doing his thing. Uh, he's also got. Well, he's sending in his archers now. I guess they're out of ammo. At least he's not pulling these guys through. 
Um, but yeah, these sacred band won't hold long. Now with the support of these archers, these uh, Arverni will just with numbers just probably win this fight. The uh, arch towers are probably racking up a couple of kills here. He's just you know, whoever's in there, marksmaning, shooting like fiery uh, arrows, of justice, getting a couple of kills here and there. Oh, interesting! That guy just like flew flew through. That's how you get. That's how you get flanks going. You just physically pull yourself through. Well, not physically, but like just fly through. And now the Spartans over here. Seems to sort out his pull through problem. I, he looked like he lost a lot of men for it, doing it. Um, but yeah, also he's bobbing up here again. This is not good. So Spartans throwing away his army. Um, so he's not helping his allies here. Like this, he shouldn't do this. Someone needs to tell him just to stop doing this. Um, but his sacred band are going to uh, die. It's like his one unit of Spartans here will probably overwhelm all like the sacred band. They probably outmaster them, but. Like over here, they've got the easier side to assault. Well, I say that. There's a lot of pikemen still here. But initially, there's no pikemen here. Um, over here, Sparta looking like he's... Uh, well, he's he's starting to get the pain of just pulling through. Yeah, Sparta hot plates starting to break. More hot plates breaking. And yep, yeah, kind of what he gets for deserving deserves for this. Uh, I kind of want the attackers to do better because they had, had such a rough ride, but... After seeing this, I, I kind of just want the defenders to win out of justice of uh, no pulling through. If I see it in a game, I just angers me. A big pet hate. But these pikes luckily are still holding. Might need to send something else in here. I mean, I don't know. These pikes are probably going to break. Um, actually, he's got silver shield in here. Yeah, they'll hold for a long time. They're elite. And he's got archers on the side here. I don't know if these guys are out of ammo. Are they firing? Says they're firing. Not sure at what. Um, but Kush really should have sent up his archers. I guess he was just letting Sparta go in and die first. I don't know. He just pulled the ammo. I mean, it's kind of smart. Did the general die? No, but he's getting attacked in the rear. Attacked in the rear. Doesn't look like he's getting attacked in the rear. But that's not good. Um, Sparta, yeah, now looks like he's... Well, he's certainly killed a lot of the Seleucids off. Whether genuine or not. Uh, the Ariadai just he's down to general and his archers. Oh actually and he's got these mercenary nobles here. He's mercenary no, Illyrian nobles. Um but Sparta's basically gonna be a spent force when that general dies. Really need should break through and then he can uh, before the general dies, hopefully here he can break through first. And then the, if his general dies, they'll at least have done something. Um right, yeah, this is not a good sign. He's just I just keep seeing the line push forward. I'm like, that's unnatural. That's also... That's not right. But more Illyrian nobles appearing here. So maybe the Ariadne is not quite out of men. Maybe... How oh, no, this is the general. Okay. So yeah, Kush might as well send his troops in now. Because, I mean, Sparta's making good progress. You don't want to lose all this progress. Now he's actually shooting his archers. Um, I wouldn't bother. There's a lot more Spartans in there, I think, than there are Seleucids. I don't know. Show to Warriors right now would be handy in here. But yes, this has all come uh, to fruition because of a Sparta who may or may not have pulled through. Let me know in the comments what you think about pulling through. Is it like a genuine tactic or do you see it as, as cheating as well? Because, I mean, I just don't... Well, I mean, he's getting uh, his karma for it. Lots of his units are breaking. Luckily, uh, Kush is arriving just in time to take over from uh, where he's about to fall. I mean, it doesn't help that the general keeps wavering. Yeah, he's not dead yet, but he's not far off. Here we go. Pike's now in the line. It does look like uh, the Arvani has finally made it up. He's just got to send it. Put a chosen spear unit here. Not a bad idea. I'd probably send, like, a, one of the archers here. I mean, just soak up all the ammo. I would have used, yeah, like this poor elite unit here. Might as well send in something a bit worse, a bit more crappy. I mean, this is a thick line. This is going to... I mean, it, they might as well commit more to over here because, I mean, they're nearly broken through here. If they can break through here, then this whole big line here doesn't really matter. Here we go. Syrian Arch now firing. Seleucid sending up there, General. Hopefully, he showed to Warriors can do some decent work. How many more men he's got here? He's not actually got any more. What's the General? Noble Horse? Hmm. 
Where's K well, Kush has got the rest of his army here, and it doesn't look like much. He's got this arm and show warrior unit here that's kind of just out and doing nothing. Alvani's almost spent. I mean, most of these armies now are looking pretty spent. Kush probably is the most healthy. Then probably Sparta, but how long that will last. Some archers now just going in. This is what I would have done first, so they just use up all that ammo. I mean, what they got back here? Mercer, no. They have a lot of elite stuff, does Carthage. Carthage is definitely the most healthy of the defenders. But he pulled back so early, that's not surprising. And here we go. Now Sparta's gone on this side. His general must be dead. General's dead, or it's definitely. Um, no, it's just broken. Okay, so that's a little bigger debuff, but still pretty big. Uh, Illyrian hotplates here. They'll hold for a while. Certainly with all those chevrons, that's going to be nasty. Don't cheer, you've not got through yet, you fools. Keep going, keep killing. I mean, they've nearly, I was about to say, they've nearly made a nice little hole here. But, I mean, they've sent in some Thoros spears, no, some Thorax swords here, just to, like, a thin line to hold back. But, I mean, these armored shows warriors will eat them for breakfast. I mean, they've been killing, uh, they've been killing Thorax swords all day. It's, these Illyrian nobles will be a tougher match, though. And it looks like he sent it, oh, don't want to look at that tower. It looks like uh, the general now for the Sluices is going in. Could be huge. I mean, the Sluices still has quite a lot of troops, and they're all in the... Well, and most of them are now in the front line. Sparta's now breaking here. Is he pulling through again? Let's see if he's pulling through again. He doesn't seem to be doing it now. That's good. He's improving. But this thin line here, this is not good. They need to certainly send more stuff in. Pikes... Uh, oh my gosh, this Pike unit here. 68. Luckily, um, the African pikemen are definitely in reserve and aren't going to be shot. The saluted one, though, is just going to die and do nothing. And now it looks like Illyrian nobles coming forward. Did they? Did they? How many Illyrian nobles have they have left? Did Ariadne have the, all this left? Okay, well, that's Carthage's general there. I'd say it's hiding. I don't. That might be the last of the reserves. Balance power hasn't really changed. Um, here comes Kush. He's sending stuff in now. I'd send forward a, a, that unit of Thorax Pikes now, otherwise it's just going to die, just stood there. Looks like Kush and, um, well not, I don't actually know if Kush has any archers. Oh, he does, he has archers all the way back here. They're not even firing. But, I mean, it looks like um, the Yarvani is quite happy just to ca carry on shooting his pikes. Yep, there's some more pikemen dead. More pikemen die. That man is annoying, I agree. He's the one talking. But, I mean, yeah, this is also the same uh, map that um, was in the last Siege, Rome 2 Siege Battle that we had in Siege Week. I'll leave a link for it, hopefully, um, like, in the top right of your screen. Hopefully, future Pope does it, so post-Pope doesn't look, uh, past Pope doesn't look like a fool. But, um, hope, luckily for the attackers this time, they don't have to worry about any of the defenders, like, sweeping around here and uh, doing any problems, mainly because they're all tucked up nicely in here now. Um, but yeah, in the last uh, in the last battle, uh, some elephants and some cavalry did cause a bit of a problem. So uh, if you want to go and see that battle, like I said, I'll, it'll hopefully be in the top right of your screen at some point. Um, and future Pope did it. But yeah, this is looking just like a proper grind now. I mean. Here comes some pikes though. I think that's some Spartan pikes. Pretty elite unit. I don't know how many of them are left. 89. They may break early though because the general's gone. Spartan pikeman here, 52. I guess yeah, but this Spartan pikeman unit here, I don't even think he's got his pikes deployed. He's just trying to push it through with brute force. Yeah, you can see them there. They've got like, they haven't got the capes on. Um, so I think he's just pulling them through with like brute, or trying to push them through with brute force. So that doesn't work. Pikes aren't going to just use their swords and be effective. That's not good. Uh, that's not a good sign here, though. We've got Syrian archers now uh, in the back lines. So they're out of armor, ammo. Looks like the Javis are just all that's left for the defenders and ammunition. They've got all their units down here. But this is uh, not good. I mean, Spark could break at any moment, and this could be a real big problem because he's committing most of the troops in here now. Kush, to be fair, hasn't got much over here. How's he doing on the other side? Yeah, oh, I think he's... Yeah, this is not a good sign. The uh, Oh, I thought that was Carthage's general, but it's uh, Ariadne's. I mean, 
Could get a nice little flank here. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good. Didn't see the stakes. Someone didn't break the stakes. Uh, noble horse walking through. Smart. It is going to cost them uh, some lives, though. But now they could sneak around here, and they could certainly get these archers in the rear. They need to sneak around. The oh, no, they're just going to charge to the back. No, you need to get around this little corner. There's a l nice little gap here. And they could have got through. And I think that's probably going to be the noble horse dead. I mean, that's going to be our Varney out. I mean, he's basically just down to some archers and some chosen swords. So that is unfortunate. Um, I would say, yeah. He needs to... Yeah, he's actually got through. Here we go. Pikeman now pulling back. It looks like there's some noble fires over here. But they are going to break. They need to just get those archers. Get those archers. Just kill a couple of them. I mean, the general's already over here as well for Carthage. Here we go, nice little charge. Yeah, not really done a lot. Not really, a, yeah, not much to say about that. I mean, they killed about 12 men. It's not bad, but they definitely could have done more. Definitely could have done more if they didn't charge into that just initial combat. And here we go, Pike's now coming up. Where are Kush's archers that were over here? Are they, oh, they're in combat. This is not a good sign. I don't think this side's uh, got long left in it then. Are they sending more around? They're sending some di disciples of ah um, Atapenmak or whatever they're called. But I mean, what they need over there is more pikes. They need pikes of their own over there. Fight the pikes that are currently going in. I don't know if Kush has lost his other pikeman unit. I thought he had two. Maybe it's already in here. It is already in here. It's about uh, just over half strength. But they are slowly breaking through here as well. I mean, Sacred Band nearly running out. I'd say the attackers have still got this off numbers, but... They need to kill a couple of key units just to make sure it's secure. Because, I mean, this is... they break all this, this might really change the balance of power. But, I mean, here we go. African Pikeman now uh, attacking on the side. And the, this uh, armor show with warrior unit. They might as well just pull away from this and just try and get over here. Because they can. They've got all the free will in the world. Just pull out of that. Go around here. And they can attack the uh, attack the archers, which they are doing. I presume they... don't know how they were allowed to do this. Did the unit break? I don't know. Armor show with warriors are over here breaking. Noble warriors now being sent in, or noble fighters. But I mean, these short warriors, they're hardy, but they're not that good. They can't, they can't beat everyone. They cannot beat everyone. And it looks like we're going to have a cavalry charge from uh, Carthage's general in a moment. Or is he just going to come forward and inspire the men? Nope, that looks like a full-on charge. It looks like he's going to be into the back of his own men. No, he's going to go around. Not a bad move. But is it needed? Is it needed? He just stood over here. Okay. He came over with just a, a rate of knots he did. Now would be the time to charge in. Here we go. Now would be the time to charge in. Good charge coming here. This will route these to show the warriors, you imagine. Oh. Yeah, that, that's certainly going to have uh, pissed them off. Will it have uh, routed them? I don't know. No, look, it looks like they're going to hold for a little longer. They're wavering. And that's basically going to... That side's basically sorted. I wouldn't bother sending more troops over here. I mean, just have a unit here maybe just to tempt them into just coming out. I mean, these guys are pretty battered in fairness. It's only the pikemen that are pretty healthy and those noble fighters. Just so those reserves got sent over now. But this looks like everything that's been committed by uh, the defenders. I wonder how many kills this arch tower's got. I'm sure a lot. Is the answer. Well, I start shooting most mercenary noble fighters at the back there. Have they got pikes in the rear? They do have these pikes in the rear. These African pikemen are getting pretty beaten up. Good good if you're rooting for the attackers. I, I'm surprised Sparta's still in here. Here we go. Final unit being sent in. Mercenary, mercenary noble fighters being sent in on this far flank here. Fighting against more Shota Warriors is a duplicate of what the uh, fight is on the other side. Looks like Spar is going to get through. I mean, he's certainly making him another push. It looks like he's trying to pull through again. Because this is what you do if you put... That's what the unit does if you try and pull through. It looks like it's just moving like normal. Just protecting itself, yeah. He lost some men for that. It looks like they're happy. It looks like <laughs> Kush's archers are jumping for joy. Don't know why they should be. They've still got a long way to go. And it looks like a lot of Spartans are dying for their uh, 
tricky ways, the trickster ways, you could say. Uh, yeah, there are lots of pikes back here. Can't pull through pike, or well, you can. Sparta proved you can earlier, but not through this block of pikes. Just look at the bodies strewn on the floor. So much death and destruction in this one choke point for this mere city. And here we go, more mercenary Illyrian nobles coming up. This must be the general here. They must have. I mean, that means that uh, Kush has basically been dealt with over here. Oh, he's got this unit of disciples of. Uh, uh, yeah, these guys aren't going to even just do it. The lion boys! They're all going to die for nothing. All those lions died for nothing on that uniform. So just fighting pikes. Like. Just not worth it. It's better just to keep that unit in reserve. Like, hide it over here. Maybe he could have snuck round. Who knows? That would have been actually quite smart, because they're going to have to send up more reserves here. Because, uh, well, Kush has still got a few units, he's still got some armor shooter warriors. I mean, yeah, definitely need those Gallic Hunters. Where's that artillery from Sparta? Is it here? Is this it here? No? What happened to the Spartan artillery? What happened to either artillery? They just seem to be disappearing now. It was just going on a nice little long walk around here. Did it just get shot to pieces? I bet it did, didn't it, by all these towers? Yeah, it did. Here it is. Yeah, the crew all died. Oh, no. What a waste. He was better going through this gate here. I told him. I told him. Even though the battle's already done. Should have gone through this gate. And he could have marched up. I don't know if you could knock down these walls. I'm sure you could. You can certainly put troops up here. So you could, you could probably knock this wall down and he could have got into the uh, town centre. That would have been very clever. But it does look like there's a, a very, very thin line now holding them back. Look at that. I've got this eagle view for you. The blue is basically where the defenders are now. The Illyrian nobles with their blue capes kind of marking that. There's pikemen moot in there as well, which is good. Still a bit of everyone's army in here. Still a bit of the Arvani. Still a bit of Spa. A bit of Kush. Kush really needs to force his pikes forward. They're, uh, I don't think their pikes are really in range. It's these flanks here which are going to break, if anything. Well... They don't look like they're going to break at the moment. They're the thickest point. I mean, they're actually flanking around here. Or the uh, defenders, which is good. The attackers need to send something in just to threaten their flank. But um, they really need to... Like, the centre's just going to be holding for ages. There's so many pikes here. Here we go. More shows of warriors going in. Put them on the flank. You need to take out these uh, mercenary noble fighters. And then you can get your way around. This is the last unit, really. Of the really uh, strong troops. The rest are over here. Like, gone. The general for Kush... Is going to try and go around. Is there anything here? That's the real question. Is there anything here? Interesting to see. We'll see in a moment. I don't think so because this uh, Syrian heavy archer unit is running desperately. There we go. P African pikeman breaking. This is not good. I'm. There is another pikeman unit somewhere around here. Are we going to see an emergence in a moment of some troops? No. They pulled everything out. Oh no, they didn't. There is a pikeman unit. Oh, send your general back. Kush, please send your general back. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Thank God he saw that. I mean, they actually didn't have their pikes down in time. He may have been able to charge that. He may have been able to charge that. That's a shame. And Well, I mean, there is also a mercenary noble fire unit here. But keep the general there. It's not a bad idea. Keep the general there. Just look. Then they've got to keep at least three units over here, it would seem. Instead of fighting on this front. I mean, but that's it. That's now everything the attackers have uh, sent in. That's it. I think there's a Gallic Archer unit over here. Or Gallic Hunters, but that's it. And Kush is through. Kush has got pikes through. I think he ran out with those nobles. Well, I know they just... The nobles kind of committed to the center. And they left this gap open. And now Kush is in. And he's um, 
like this arrow tower is no longer active. This is huge. And now the general here, which one of these units, yeah, this one here, most noble fighters, is losing decisively. And the general's going in even further? No, they need to turn around. They need to start making a new angle. They need to uh, take into mind that this, yeah, and here we go. This is going to be a good charge. This might, this is certainly going to damage the pikes. Oh, it sort of did some damage. It sort of didn't. Like the calves, like certainly lost a lot of men. I don't think a lot of the pikemen are getting up. Oh, they're now being surrounded by the pikes. This is not good for the pikemen. Yeah, they're losing. That's a huge win. And the general for Carthage is uh, still alive. Yeah, Kush needs to get that pike unit out of there. And they need to turn it around. They need to pull it around. The general's back. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, this is unfortunate. They're going to lose a very, very, very valuable unit. I don't know if it's got the, where the other one is. It is still in there. Not as fresh as this one. They are actually winning this fight, though. A lot of... Um, the general's been killed. No, no, no. He's at three men. Come on. Carthage is all that's holding this lot back. I mean, Ariadne actually as well. He's got a lot of um, infantry in here. But, I mean, it's basically... Carthage has got all the reserves. These pikes need to go down again. Oh, they are down. Good, good. Well, this is a fight they can win. I'll hold back these uh, Mercy Swords for a while. Yep, he's clearly just going to... I don't know what he's doing. No, it's such a waste. Such a waste. You need this men in reserve. I mean, they... Some of them have got through. I don't know if that was really a pull through. I'm not sure, but... A lot of them did just get through here. And the general might be dead. No, this is the general here. This has to be the general here. And he's... Shattered and he's broken. There we go. So Carthage has lost his general. I think the only generals left are... I think the Arvani's lost his general, of course. Yeah, he lost his general ages ago. So it's just Kush's general that's left. And it's just the Ariadai general that's left as well. And he's not looking too fresh either. And that's Kush Pike's gone though. So that was kind of a win in fairness for the defend for the defenders. Um, I mean, there's Oswan in here still. There's still some very good units. Spear Nobles. He's going to go and have another look, because he's seen that these Mercenary Noble Fires have gone in here. I mean, the Pikes will still be over there. He's going to have to send some uh, archers or something to try and hold these guys back. Because these Mercenary Nobles are now going to be a problem. This is going to be extremely close. These Gallic Hunters really need to go up here, though. Send them up. Send them up. I don't know if they've got ammo left, but if they have ammo. That is huge. The General's going to try again. Attempt to. See, if the Pikes were not... Like, the first time, the pikes didn't have their pikes down. He could have charged them. And he would have certainly done a lot of damage and probably would have broken them eventually. Here they are. Do they have their pikes down? They don't have their pikes down. Just charge in. They don't have their pikes down. And then they're moving forward. Ah, oh, now they have their pikes down. And he's got arches on the wall. Yeah, Kush just needs to just stop trying this. He's losing men just actually marching up to the... Like, marching up here. He's going to try it now. He's going to... Oh, I think he's going to try and sneak on by. It's a bold move. Yeah, here he goes. He's going to try and sneak by. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, and his general's just died. His general died in doing that. But, Kush is in. Kush is in. Major problems here for uh, Carthage. He d so, Kush is just going to carry on. Is this going to be the charge that wins them it? Quite possibly. Where's that Gallic bow unit? I think they're in there now. Yeah, they are. Here we go, though. Kush is coming. Will these 19 men be enough? Oh, well, it was 19 men. It's 18 men now. Getting ever lower. Here we go. They're going to send a unit back to stop the charge. It's not going to be enough. There they go. They are in. Is that causing a break? No, not really. They're standing strong. Wasn't enough. Uh, and it's actually Gallic Hunters that are going to break. And more uh, Spear Nobles. They're just done. And Kush is going to lose his general. Um, the cavalry's just, well, caught in now. So he's done well. And now they don't have to uh, worry about this side. And uh, Carthage can send his pikes forward. I'd say that Carthage... I mean, the defenders have won this. Yeah, here you go. Kush is now wavering. It's going to be a defender's victory by the looks of it. They're going to just try and send everything in for one last go. It's just Kush left. And... A few Arvani. 
Sparta's long gone. Sparta is long gone. Why is it archers for the Arvani coming through here? How did they get in here? Oh, God. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be the Arvani that'll break. Who knows? This is insane. I thought the defenders had got this, but so many of their units are not breaking. Can the African Pikes get there in time? No, it looks... There you go. The general is broken. This choke point's basically lost. It's just one unit holding them back. 54. African Pikemen now just getting into formation. They need to quickly engage here. Hold these guys back. This is insanely close. And there you go. Arvani's through. He's got his O spawn in behind. All that Kush has to do is just don't engage his pike. Don't engage. Just beat them over here. Syrian arch is now wavering. If I was, um, I don't know. I'll be, actually, yeah, take out the pike from the rear. Take out the pike from the rear. I was about to say go and capture the point. But Kush still has his pikes. I didn't even realize he still has a unit of pikes. Oh, this is huge. I think I think the defenders have got this. Uh, not the defenders. The attackers have got this now. Literally, I've gone from the defenders have got this to the attackers have got this in a matter of seconds. This is an insane battle. Kush's pikes are breaking. No. It's going to come down to these two units, or these three units for, like, for the attackers. Oh, here we go. Illyrian Noble's about to break. But th these two units of uh, Kush are fairly fresh. And there you go. Carthage is breaking. I think that's it. I think the defenders have, wrap uh, have lost this now. I was about to say wrap this up. They have not wrapped anything up. This is poorly wrapped. No wrapping at all. And there we go. Illyrian Noble's gone. And the attackers have won but at what cost what a battle that was insane so we'll have a look at the end results um so aiden was the person that sent this in playing as kush um his armor shows warriors doing excellent two of them getting 403 kills another one getting 373 um yet yeah, in the end they were the ones that could push well not push through but clinch the victory and uh they did a brilliant job a brilliant job. Um, his show warriors did okay, getting 126. Pikes getting 147, not too bad. His general getting 101, not terrible. And his archers getting 124 with their best unit. Sir Takale, uh, who was uh, playing as the Arvani, his archers did okay, getting 161. That's actually not too bad. His uh, merc his mercenary, his naked warriors, um, not doing very well. Not even getting 40 kills um, between them. Um, his chosen spearmen. Um, no, they didn't do anything either. <laughs> 43. They, he had a really rough game, in fairness. Um, his Chosen Swords did okay, though. 177. Um, his Oath Sworn, solid. Getting all over, getting 100 kills. And his uh, Spear Nobles, getting about 100 kills between them. Um, K, uh, T. Kane Train, um, playing a Sparta. His Onager getting 79 kills. That's not awful. His Archers um, getting 139. His uh, Gorgo Skirmishers didn't do very well. Um, they're a kind of an elite unit, and they kind of just got focused down, um, like by other archers. His infantry did awful, I'd say, really for Sparta as well. That's why you don't bring Sparta in the assault. Um, that, along with him also pulling through, didn't help his infantry. His pikes did pretty awful. Um, his best unit was his Royal Spartan hot plates here that um, got 149, and that was it really. Um, then we have um, Nenfeum who's playing as the uh, uh, RDI, who got a lot of kills with his general, 104, uh, 170, sorry, um, at the end there, a lot, he spammed out these uh, noble hoplites, and the best one out of them, uh, other than his general, was this one at 101, his uh, Illyrian raiders, who, yeah, he had four of them, they t started the battle with a little raid outside, they got a lot of kills, well leveled up, um, I mean, they didn't actually get a lot of kills, um, they got 59, I was lying, <laughs> and then his uh, mercenary axe warriors and his uh, Celtic warriors didn't do very well either. They kind of just got all surrounded by uh, Kush and the Arvani and um, just got massacred. And then we have Carthage, who probably was the best out of the defenders. Well, you can look at the kills. He did very well. I mean, poor Ardi. I didn't even get a, a thousand kills. I didn't even realize that. But his pikes getting nearly 300 kills. Excellent. The other one getting nearly 200. His uh, mercenary noble fires getting 316. And the other one getting 219. Excellent. His Cretan archers. All getting over 100 kills. And the best one only getting 200. Didn't even bring a third unit of... Uh, a fourth unit of archers. Which I presume was the rules. Because most of the people brought four. 
Sacred Band, most of them getting over 100, excellent. And he spammed them out. He really did. And his cab did okay, but not great, uh, to be honest. And then that one, Chicken, great name. Uh, he, yeah, he brought a lot of cab. He was clearly giving me the uh, Sally Out Force. Didn't really pull off, though. Medi and Cavalry aren't that great, and they uh, just got taken out by the better uh, Kush Cavalry. His general getting 102 kills. His archers did okay getting over 150 kills. Um, for, well, this unit here did, and this one nearly got 150. And then S Silver Shield Swordsman. Solid as usual, you can expect 120 kills from them. And then his Sorak Swords did okay, 105. Then he brought a lot of Thoros Spears, and this one actually got 133 here with another Thorax Sword. And his Thoros Spears getting just over 100 kills. And then the Thorax Pikes, just sh shy of 100 kills. And this one's got focus down, got no kills. Wow. And that's unfortunate. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this battle, and I uh, hope you stayed around till the end, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment um, as well if you really enjoyed that and just what you think on like pulling through. If you think it's a viable tactic or where you think, no, it's cheating. It's outright cheating, um, which I personally think it is. But anyway, guys, until next time.